this is Michelle for valive.tv and virtualassistant-live.com. So today this vlog was inspired by a young lady who wrote to me who is a virtual assistant and has been doing it actually for a number of years, but has felt that she's degrading herself with the rate that she is charging and would like to raise it. But she doesn't want to raise it a little, she wants to raise it a lot, a significant amount of money per hour. She's asking my advice, um, what I think she should do um, and how she should go about it. She's also said that, you know, she's a bit aware that um, her services haven't been quite up to scratch recently. And, you know, this is probably why she's a little bit hesitant. OK, so thank you for sending that question in and I'd be happy to help you. The first thing I want you to do, um, if you're if you're a VA or a freelancer and you're out there and um, you are charging an, uh, an hourly rate, I want you to think now, I'm going to ask you a question and I want you to think about the answer. What would be your most ideal hourly rate that you would like to charge? Have you got it? Okay, so you've got your most ideal hourly rate Ideal as in, you know, not just now, but it's going to be ideal in a couple of years time too for you. So, I mean, just don't think about the here and now. Think you think to yourself long term, you know, because this is what your business is. It's going to be a long term um, thing. Think about what you'd really like to charge in the long term that you're going to be really comfortable and happy with. Got it? Now I want you to immediately now go and change your website to that rate. Don't think about it, just do it. And I will explain why uh, in a second. Okay, the reason why it's vitally important that you go and change your website now and do it is because one day you will be charging that rate. And it may be not today, it may be not, you know, in the next three months, it may be not in the next year, it all depends on, you know, how things go for you. But one day, if you work hard at your virtual assistant business, you will be able to charge that rate, providing it's obviously within reason. So what I want you to do now is, um, okay, so you've gone and raised your rate on your website. I want you now to sit there and be creative and think about all the ways that you could offer value for money to your clients. Uh, this could be retainer packages and promotions, which um, people can purchase a set number of hours and they get a reduced rate. Offers on that rate, you know, if it's a dramatic increase on what you're charging at the moment, you know, you can offer a 50% reduction or something like that, or a 25% reduction for the next three, six months. Anything which is going to give people... Um, real, real good value for money. And that way, you're still not making a huge, massive leap into charging, you know, a mega high rate, which, you know, you haven't been charging. You know, it's going to be modest because you are going to offer certain things to your clients where they are able to gain discounts um, and, and things like that, which will make the rate maybe a little bit more affordable and a little bit more where your clientele is at the moment. But the thing about this is, if you keep your standard hourly rate um, as it is, oftentimes you will find that one client, if you can get one client at that rate, it might compensate for three at your much lower rate. So really you want to be going for the good quality clients, but you also want to give people lots of different options and the ability to be able to use your services at a much more discounted rate and make sure that you make that very clear on your website that you know your hourly rate is this amount of money, but uh, especially if you're at the moment looking for clients and, and desperate to find clients, then you need to go out and you need to offer promotions and offers. And But the thing about psychologically, people are going to be thinking to themselves, say, for example, your ideal rate is £35 an hour. If you're offering £25 an hour for the next six months, guaranteed, people are going to see that as a massive discount, huge value for money, and they're more likely to jump on it um, if uh, instead of as if you were offering just 25 pounds an hour and that was your rate so this is what 
you know, that my logic behind uh, what you should be doing. And also as well, you might expand very quickly and it's going to be a hassle for you if you have to keep changing your rates every time you decide that you want to expand. Um, because the more clients you take on, the higher the rate you're going to have to charge. It's just... Um, it's just how it works because you're, you're only able to take on a certain amount of clients and when you can't really take on any more clients, you need to raise your rates a little bit, you know, to maybe dissuade certain people from contacting you and then that's when you really sort out, you know, the real good quality clients who are able to pay and will pay your, you know, your ideal rate because that's what you should be shooting for, that's what you should be aiming for always and that's why you need to go and change your website right now I don't care whether you've been a VA for one day one year or you know your entire life it's got to be your most ideal rate that it's displayed on your website and then you need to offer people options okay um, another thing I want to say to you um, even though you you've displayed your much higher rate on your website don't raise it for your existing clients because you need to keep their loyalty and um, by doing by raising the rate you will probably secure their loyalty even more so it's going to be even better for you um, with your existing clients because they'll feel right you know wow I've got a top-notch VA now she's really increased her rates she must be doing extremely well I better keep this I better keep this VA where she is <laughs> because I don't want to end up paying this rate later on so um, you're more likely to secure and keep uh, the clients who you've already got by keeping them loyal, keeping them on the same rate that um, they're charging and only really change it if financially it's it's really not um, viable for you anymore. That's the only time I would suggest that you change the rates for your existing clients um, because they're really, you know, the, the bread and butter of your business. I would also as well um, if you're friendly and familiar with your existing clients I would actually ask them uh, what they think of your services, perhaps do a survey, ask them for a testimonial, um, ask them really what kind of value they would put on your services. I would only really do this with the clients who I'm very familiar with and very friendly with, uh, you know, on a more sort of personal basis and more personal terms. I wouldn't ask, you know, from the more newer clients that I've just taken on. Um, you know, I started my VA business um, some years ago, so there's clients that were with me from, you know, I got my first client after three weeks of um, having my business live and functional, and they're still with me today, and, you know, I'm very lucky, and I'm able to speak to them pretty much about anything, and I'm able to go and say, you know, I'm thinking about raising my rate to this much, you know, what do you think, do you think that's you know, a good rate, would you feel happy if you were paying that rate for this service? And they're really the people who are going to be able to give you honest feedback about, um, you know, your rates and your services and how you're doing, how you're doing as a VA, are you reliable, are you, um, are you reasonable um, with what you charge them at the moment, Could would they have perhaps paid you more, that type of thing. Get some feedback from your existing clients but the reason you absolutely need to go and raise your rate now is because it's going to be less hassle for you in the future you're going to have a better loyalty from your existing clients because they're going to see that you're doing really really well and you've raised your rates and you've also got the opportunity to offer much much more value for money to new clients coming on board because you're going to be able to do some phenomenal discounts um, and that type of thing and you will find that the more you respect yourself the more you respect um, your own rates and, and what you charge and the, the closer you are to the ideal the more confidence you're going to have in your business that's going to come across and that's how you're going to get new clients paying this ideal rate uh, so that's my two cents because she asked me for my two cents <laughs> and um, I'll see you on the next video you have a good evening and take care